So I'm going to start this um, by drawing a circle for the elephant's head. So again, for the elephant, I'm just doing a circle for the head. And for the body, I'm just going to do a big oval going behind that. And I'm just going over and over again until I get a good shape that I like. Make sure to draw really big on your page. All right, now after we have the circle and oval, we can move on to the ear for the elephant. So for the ear, I'm gonna go to the left side of the circle and I'm gonna be drawing a curve going out. <laughs> Thank you. It's just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna draw another curve right underneath. So the elephant's ear is kind of this wavy shape on the side. Now after this, I'm going to draw the elephant's forehead. So I'm going to draw a line going out here, and I'm just going to follow the shape of the circle and bring this line down. So this is going to be the forehead for our elephant, right next to the ear. So a fun fact about elephants is actually that they're the largest land animals, which is kind of crazy. And now I'm going to draw the bottom of the face for the elephant. So I'm going to start here, right next to the ear, and I'm going to draw a curve. I'm going to erase it a little bit. I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Almost like a C shape. All right, so now that I have the a head for the elephant, I can move on to the trunk. So elephants have really long noses, so I'm going to start about right here next to the bottom of the face. And I'm going to draw a line going pretty far down, a little past the circle, or a little past the bottom oval. Then I'm going to draw a line right next to that, and I'm going to curve it at the end and connect it. So this is going to be the elephant's trunk. So elephants have really long noses. They have a great sense of smell and hearing, but they actually have really poor eyesight. Um, now we're going to move on to the eye. So I'm going to go next to the nose and I'm going to draw a circle for the eye. And if you want, you can leave a little highlight in the top right. All right, these elephants are looking super cute so far. Now I'm gonna move on to the tusks for the elephant. The tusks are the elephant's little teeth next to its nose. So I'm gonna start on the right side of the nose and I'm gonna draw a little triangular shape coming out. Then I'm gonna erase this little spot right here and I'm gonna draw another one. All right, that looks awesome. Now I'm gonna move on to the back of the elephant. So I'm going to draw a line going horizontal across, or sideways, I mean. Then I'm gonna curve it down. Then I'm gonna draw it farther down the oval, past the oval, just to give the elephant a leg. Now I'm gonna draw a line right next to this one and I'm gonna close it at the bottom. So this is gonna be the back leg. Now after that, I'm gonna move on to the front leg. So the front leg is partially covered by the trunk. So I'm gonna start about halfway down the trunk and I'm going to draw a line going down. Then I'm going to go below the ear and I'm going to draw the rest of the leg, which is going to be a curve. And then just a line going down, and I'm going to connect them at the bottom. So now we have a back leg and a front leg.
So I can draw the stomach in between to connect it. I'm going to start here in the middle of this leg and do a round shape going upwards. And it's okay to erase sometimes if you make a mistake, it's totally normal. All right, now I can move on to the back legs. So for the back leg on the in the on the left side, I'm going to draw one line going down and then another line right next to it and then I'm going to connect them. So this shot, this gives the illusion that the line is, uh, this leg is behind the stomach. Now I'm going to draw the leg behind for the front part of the elephant. So I'm going to draw a little diagonal line coming out of this leg. Then I'm going to close it at the bottom and kind of show some of it coming out of the nose right here. So another fun fact about elephants is they can live from 50 to 70 years. Um, they're also herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Now I'm going to draw the tail, so I'm going to go to the behind of the elephant, draw a curved line going down and out. Then I'm going to draw another one right next to that and connect it. And if you want, you can draw little, little poofy shapes at the end for the hair on the elephant's tail. All right, once I have my elephant, I can erase all my guidelines or all the lines in between. This might take a little bit, but that's okay. I hope you guys are having a really good day today. I don't know if you guys can recognize any of the songs in the background, but these are acoustic Disney songs. All right, there we go. So now I have a beautiful elephant. 